the, the main things of, of, of what I'm talking about tonight and things that we should forsake and that we should live for God. But this is why. Number one, are you saved? The most important thing. Number two, is your family saved? Number three, are others saved? Very simple, but the three most important things, the main thing, our main goal is those three things. Are you saved? Is your family saved? Are others saved? Now, I think about uh, is your family saved? How many would say that there's, I have family members that are not saved? I have family members that are not saved. You know, I, I, I heard a message a while back on, on about your family being saved, and I, I got a, a, a serious burden. For, for some of my family. Um, I've got Uncle Sonny that I don't want to say professes to be a Catholic. I've got another uncle that I don't want to be saying. Some of you have parents that are not saved. Some of you have grandparents that are not saved. I know a preacher that prayed for his parents for 17 years. How many of you will, will go home and be on fire from camp and be on fire to serve the Lord but you go home with us to your family? Some of you got uncles and aunts and uh, family members that live on the other sides of the country that are not saved and we've, we've never even witnessed them. Young men, if we can't witness to our family, God will never cause us to preach. If we can't do the little things, we can't just be a witness. God will call us. Are you saved? Is your family saved? And are others saved? You know, I, I got thinking about this, and I shared this with the boys last night. With, with abortion. I got, I got thinking about this, and I heard uh, me and another preacher was talking about it. And how abortion is an is a awful and a wicked thing. We can all agree on that. Yeah. But I got to think about this. What if God is using abortion? So let me say this, this is sad. God, the devil meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. Maybe because, maybe because we want go witness to these people. God's just saying, all right, it's fine. I'll just take them to heaven. I'll just, they, they won't have to face the things of this world. They don't have to face temptations. I'll just go ahead and just take them to heaven. Since the people on earth won't witness to nobody, I'll just go ahead and just take them. What the devil meant for bad, God meant for but we, we, young people, we have to be a witness. We have to tell others. I'm telling you, there's, there's an awful place called hell that these people are going to. We don't even have a burden. We have to get a burden for our family and for others. I'm telling you, young men, we need you. We need you in the ministry. We need you preaching. Some of you are called to preach. Right. Or if we got some young, young men that would say, you know, I, I feel like God's calling me to preach. Yeah. I feel like God wants to use me. Or maybe not, he might just call you to preach. First of all, you, you have to surrender. Or we'd have some ladies who would say, I, I'll surrender to do whatever God wants me to do. Whatever God, whether he wants me to go to the mission field, whether he wants me to marry a preacher, whether he wants me to do this thing or that thing. We have to be surrendered. I know we've got some boys in our youth group that are surrendered to preach. We need some young men that will, boy, that's what we're missing. These young men that will keep yourself pure and keep yourself right. Who preach the word of God? That's right. That's what we're missing. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you, God, for what all you've done. For what I, I thank you, Lord, for calling me to preach, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for using me, Lord. I, I wouldn't trade for nothing, Lord. I, I wouldn't do any other thing, Lord.
besides preach your word, God, and witness to others, Lord, I, I don't have no plan B. Um, Lord, I also have this plan A. Um, and that, that's to serve you, God. That's to, that's to preach your word, Lord. I, I know tonight's message was different, Lord. It was um, all over the place. It just wasn't a, wasn't a normal message that I used to uh, preach, Lord. And God, I, I just pray, God, that you would use it, Lord. Thank you, God, for all you've done. The altars are open. Let's all stand. Maybe you may have come to an altar and say, I, I surrender my life to preach the gospel. Maybe you girls will come and say, I, I surrender my life to do what you've ever got. How many boys would just come to the altar and just say, God, it's not really calling me, but I, I just want to live right. I just want to forsake the debts. Yeah. I just want to forsake the things of this world. I just want to live for God. I've seen some of you this week, you can tell that you want to come. But it's, a, it's a pride thing. You don't want to step forward. You don't want to come. about it. 